push forward on stick. Eight knots, neutral. The nose coming. Oh. Maybe a little aggressive, and I didn't feel any dead band on the yoke. So, but it's very stable, very stable. So I'll, I'll push on the autopilot immediately to see how it flies. So, so immediately start trimming down. So I wonder if that 5.75 that in trim that it gave me. So it gave me five point something. Ah, it's not there. Anyway. Oh, well, this is strange. Should be fairly in the middle. And the trim is not in line with what I'm expecting. It should not trim up when the speed goes up. It should trim down when the speed go goes up. It's called, it's called speed trim, I think. So, lights coming off. Standard pressure. And we can look at the root. Look how the root, root looks. It will be very interesting to see what the plane does at the top of the send point. How smooth the throttles will move back or how slow the throttles will move back. But yeah, it's better now. This is how it should be. Fairly small movements from the elevator and trim should be quite spot on. The standard pressure there also some graphical bug here but looks looks really good and i will prepare for landing already so i will have 30 degree flaps and 142 knots and let's see what the plane does so it should trim forward because the speed goes up and that makes the elevator more should we say powerful more downforce from the elevator and therefore the plane should trim the elevator down no the, the stabilizer down sorry so I'm not using any special weather it's just standard weather just to keep the plane to test the plane and not the weather. And data. So it's increasing speed. Smooth. Smooth movement of the controls. Very smooth movement of the controls. Everything looks very good, I should say. And over 10,000 feet, because I've cost index 99, the plane should accelerate to basically maximum at this altitude. And uh, yeah, the prediction should be very close. Should have 12,000 feet at that point. But it does look like we will end up it will end up closer to yeah it moved so it recalculated the top of climb that's good 
And let, let's see how smooth it... Oh, yeah. It's fairly smooth. Fairly, fairly smooth. So, it's pushing the nose up a little. So it should probably trim down a little. Probably trim down a little. Let it should probably trim up a little, sorry. Um, and now we will be preparing for landing and I will choose order break to two. And we have, of course, clearance to 3000 feet. This is not normal and we would not have clearance to 3000 feet at this point. Um, anything more? Yeah, very stable. Very, sta very stable behavior, especially from the controls. Very stable behavior. No strange, so was a little off, but now it's, let's see, I, I'm very interested in seeing what exactly the throttles are doing, because it took a long time for the, the aircraft to, in the level D simulator, to level off and reduce throttle. So, it's trimming forward. It is descending a little too early. It should not descend already. It should not descend before it gets to that green dot. So a little mis miscalculation, but anyway. And it have not, it should not, oh, this is not correct. Yeah. That was very strange behavior of throttle. It should basically be the tr throttle that starts making this descend. It's now it was more like the started descending before it decreased decreased throttle. So the throttle moved too fast, and I think that that will result in that the. You saw in the beginning here two green dots. One was top of the sand, and the one, the other was the acceleration. And in le the level D sim, it was more distance between those two green dots, green rings. So, uh, and I think that is because it reduces the throttle slower. So, it, uh, so when it got to the top of the scent, it started to reduce throttle very slowly and uh, it took some time for the aircraft to reduce speed and therefore the, the descent started to, it started to descend uh, sl slower um, than, than this. Th still think this is too, f too fast of descent. So now we can see that it's uh, yeah about five six hundred feet a minute, and that is to reduce speed. It wants to go to two hundred and forty knots, I think. Let's go to legs page, two hundred forty knots. Yeah. So it. And in the level D sim also, it was exactly at 240 knots at 10,000 feet. Exactly, they met spot on. So there's a discrepancy, the speed is higher than, than it should be at this point. And we don't have any winds as you can see, so it can't be wind that is affecting this. But anyway, it's, it's, it's flying really good. And 1,500 feet a minute, yeah, something like that. It should have more descent rate in a turn and then in a, in a straight line. 
um, so around 1400 feet a minute and in a, when in a straight line about 1350 between 1300 and 1450 something so the flight model behaves very close to the level DCM at least and yeah the the VNAV should allow a few knots over the speed but uh, at at 10,000 it should have met 240 knots spot on and this did did not do because the, I think it was because the throttle was reduced wasn't reduced so it started descending with the with the throttles still at fairly high N1 uh, still the unable cruise altitude that should not happen also uh, there, there should not be cruise altitude warning in this part of the flight so now it's warning me of 21 degrees so I will set the nav radios 110 30 110 30 oh, okay it's already set and I believe it's 22 degrees the RS and yes it is so in this part of the flight in the level D simulator uh, my captain friend told me that uh, it's no it's it it's not bad to set up the aircraft early in the flight so you can p push the up button already oh, so, and I asked him but shouldn't you push the VR lock no you can push the uh, autopilot uh, uh, you can push the approach mode okay so I pushed the approach mode and now we got clearance for uh, the other air pressure so we also will do that same air pressure on both both sides but very very stable and Bruno Yoke is working and every in this I'm fairly satisfied that th this is and now we get the drag required and that is not correct without wind I should not get uh, drag required in this part of the flight but we will not do anything about it yet we will wait until we get to the 3000 feet uh, which is the yeah which which is the the altitude uh, you should okay rain that's interesting so should I put test the, the new wiper system heard a lot about it okay no no wipers was a very <laughs> small range hour it now also says single channel so I will push the other channel okay well here it could be some improvements but let's not focus on the the wipers and lights and continues on the engines so now we are we have a little too much speeds and I believe that is a little about the the VNAV part here and there's ba basically no effect of the speed rate at this moment or very very little I can't tell without doing 
very th- throughout investigation if this is correct but full sp- yeah anyway gear out flaps one and at five nautical miles everything in the aircraft should be set oh, this is strange uh, this is strange Oh. I'm not 100% sure, but at 5 nautical miles we need... So, 30 degree flaps and we should have... 42 plus 5, 142 plus 5, so that is 46, oh no, 46, oh, 5, 6, 7, 47, 147, so that is correct, yeah, and about 55 N1 to keep the speed, about 55% N1 to keep the speed. I think this is a little too much N1 to speed. Have to check this. But, and it will be very interesting. And you can also see that the plane has trimmed the plane up and is pushing the nose down. That is because if you're going to do a missed approach, you don't want to have the, the plane trimmed down in the ground. So let's see what the controls are doing now and how smooth the landing will be. In, we'll do a fairly smooth landing. It's diving. Not correct, not correct. Okay, I will take over. I will take over. I will take over. Ah! What am I doing? So this was not a good landing that we all can agree about. And, uh, Water brake disengaged, right? No, it's braking heavily. Doesn't doesn't need the uh, reversers yet. But that was basically it. So I will push the brakes and. Break a little, so not too much speed when I go off the runway. And when off the runway, we can put up the flaps. And we can put the APU on and turn off landing lights and yeah keep those lights on out to break to off that is basically it so fairly good flight but some minor things is still there's still some minor work to do but uh, this is absolutely flyable and uh, very close to level d i i would say and uh, that is good uh, that's that is a good um judgment uh, 
good let's say what good grade <laughs> for the the aircraft that it's behaving this close to level D. I would say that the dead band is a little too weak. I couldn't feel any dead dead band at all. It wa wanted to continue continue up when I did the takeoff. So thank you for watching and see you soon.